Hello, my name is Zach Gibbs, and I'm a content developer within education services inside Juniper Networks. And today we will be going through the Paragon Active Assurance VoIP UDP test learning bike. All right, so here is our topology. We have three devices that we're concerned about in the topology. That is TA1, TA2, and the control center. TA1 and TA2 use ETH0 to connect into the management network. And then the control center can communicate with those devices through the management network. And then TA1 and TA2 use the ETH1 interfaces to connect into the service provider production network. All right, so with that, what are we going to do? Well, we're going to configure the VoIP UDP task. We're going to set the duration to 30 seconds. The setup type is going to be full mesh. The codec is going to be GSM EFR. The port is going to be 1001. And the ES thresholds are going to be a MOS score of 5 and an expected DSCP value of 10. So one thing I do want to talk about is what this task is all about. And what it does is it simulates VoIP media flows using UDP as the transport protocol. And so these flows uh, use a specific voice codec. It's either going to be the G.711, the G.723, the G.729, or the GSM EFR codec. And so with this, we can run this task as a hub and spoke topology or a full mesh topology. And in this learning bite, we're going to be doing the full mesh topology. And so what this task basically allows you to see is the effect your network has on VoIP traffic. So basically, is your network good enough to run VoIP traffic? And so to do this, there's the MOS score, which stands for Mean Opinion Scale. And so how that works is the MOS score is calculated by the task uh, using the jitter and pack loss of the flow. Now this small score, it can range from five being the best and one being the absolute worst. If you, if you get a one with the MOS score, it is definitely, your network is definitely not ready for VoIP traffic. If you get a five, it's gonna be crystal clear. Uh, anything in between like a four is great, three not so great, and so forth. All right, so with that, we're gonna set up a MOS score five. Now a MOS score five means it's it's absolutely perfect. So we're going to see what happens with that when we set that score. Uh, something else to point out is that when the task starts, the test agents, they generate traffic at a fixed bit rate and frame size. And that's dependent on the codec that you choose. Uh, for example, if we choose G.711 for the codec, the bit rate is 87.2 kilobits per second. And the frame size is 218 bytes. And so it just depends on whatever codec we use. Okay, so with that being said, let's go ahead and jump to the web interface for the control center and get this going. All right, so here is the web interface for the control center. Let's go to tests and set up a new test sequence. We'll call this VoIP UDP LB. LB is short for learning byte. And we'll select the VoIP UDP task. And notice how this is a puzzle piece task, which means we can add other puzzle pieces into the same step and run those tasks as a parallel task. So keep that in mind. All right, so we're gonna set the duration to 30 seconds. We're gonna set the setup type to full mesh. Then we'll select our clients. That'll be TA1 on ETH1 and TA2 on ETH2. Wanna make sure you select the right interfaces. If we were to select TA1 ETH1 and TA2 ETH0, those are on two separate networks. They will not be able to communicate with each other. Uh, we're gonna have a bad time if we do that. So just make sure you select the right test agents and the right interfaces. All right, the number of flows, we didn't specify that in our criteria, but one works great. The codec, this is where we select our codec. We want to select the GSM EFR codec. We want to set the port to 1001. And then we have the threshold for aired seconds. Now, this is where we set the MOS value. Here we're setting to four by default. Remember that we want to set that to five. So we're basically saying, it's gotta be near perfect for us to accept this, right? And so set the DSCP value to 10, the expected DSCP value that is. And then we can go ahead and start the test and let's see what happens. All right, so the test is starting up. It'll take just a second to start getting some results and whatnot, but we'll see what we get. And uh, we're already getting some results and we're currently getting aired seconds. This doesn't look good. It's, uh, you know, we want to see green here, we're seeing black. And so you gotta ask yourself, well, what's the reason? Why am I seeing aired seconds in the aired second history bar? And why are things not green? And the reason behind that is recall that we set the MOS score to five, which is, as you know, perfect or just excellent quality. Now that's gonna be really hard to achieve, right? And you can see here the MOS score is set to four 
4.3 or the MOS score result for the streams, both streams is 4.3. And that's not five, that's less than five. That's still really excellent, but it's not five. And let's look at the actual stream itself to see this more in action, get rid of the ES bar and the rate. And we can see the average delay, we can select the jitter, get rid of delay there as well. And you can see the MOS score, which is up here at just around, just floats around 4.3. We actually got up to 4.51, so it did go up a little bit. And so you can see that we have some jitter here that the uh, task isn't liking. It's not giving us that perfect five MOS score. And we can see that in the table output with the results as well. And we can see that we have the MOS score of 2.9, 2.9, uh, definitely less than five, or 4.29, excuse me not 2.9, uh, 4.29, and uh, 2.9 would be terrible, 4.29. And we see that the ESDCP uh, percent, like we're not having any sort of problems there. So that looks good there. So it's definitely the MOS score is lower than five. And so let's go ahead and cheat a little and just click rerun and change that MOS score to four, right? That's what you do if, if you're not passing your test, you just lower the pass score, right? No, I'm just kidding, of course. Uh, but I just want to show you what it looks like when we set it to four and everything uh, looks good because we'll get a four, round of 4.3, which is above four. Now remember, four is actually really, really good. So it's nothing to be embarrassed about if you're getting a four in your network. Your VoIP traffic will sound excellent with a four. And so let's go ahead and start this. And this test, of course, will start in just a second. And you can see here that we're not getting aired seconds in the aired history bar or aired seconds history bar. And we have the MOS score of 4.3. And so things are looking good. This is what we want to see. We're passing with this test. With the last test, we didn't because we had the MOS score set at five instead of four. Here with the MOS score set at four, the test is definitely uh, resulting in a pass. So this does bring us to the end of this learning byte. And in this learning byte, we demonstrate how to configure and run a VoIP UDP test. So as always, thanks for watching. Visit the Juniper Education Services website to learn more about courses. View our full range of classroom, online, and e-learning courses. Learning paths, industry segment and technology specific training paths. Juniper Networks Certification Program, the ultimate demonstration of your competence. And the training community, from forums to social media, join the discussion.